In this video, I'm going to break down the cinematography style of how I approached this campaign. I want to also break down some of the behind the scenes footage and what I was thinking that day of, of how I put this video together because I shot this on a Thursday morning and I had to deliver the final video Friday morning. So I had a 24 hour turnaround between filming and editing and doing revisions and getting the final product out. Before we dive into the breakdown and the behind the scenes footage, I wanna preface the video treatment. Sometimes you don't get to see the video treatment of what these campaigns look like in the pre-production process before you get approved to even go ahead with that vision and concept. So one day when I was gonna come up with a video treatment for the sneaker, I decided to look up what does Palomino actually mean? And I found that it's a breed of horse. So immediately my creativity just started like rushing. Uh, that word just uh, sparked so many different ideas for me. And eventually I landed on the fact that I knew that in Philadelphia, there was a historical, a cultural importance of Philly cowboys, specifically black Philly cowboys. So I just caught hey, what if I'm able to pull this off and I'm able to get the Philly Cowboys to wear the Palomino sneakers instead of wearing cowboy boots? So in the video treatment, my opening synopsis, you can see that here I say, we'll be paying homage to a century long tradition of cowboys and horsemanship in Philadelphia by highlighting the Air Jordan 1 Palomino named after a horse breed. So exactly what came to my mind, I just decided to write in a paragraph to convey not only to Snipes and not only to the Air Jordan partner, but also to the Philly Cowboys so they can see that I'm coming with a direction of respect and integrity so I can highlight them in a very unique way and also just a stylistic way. So that's really all my vision was. Um, just flipping a quick story of a, a kid working out of stables with his horses. He has his favorite horse who he takes care of every single day. He goes to put on some pair of cowboy boots that he always does when he rides and he finds the box of Air Jordans. So he sees his face light up and instead of wearing the cowboy boots, he puts on the Air Jordan Palominos and he goes for his ride. So very simple. And so the camera I decided to go with was the Sony FX6. The main reason being I own the Sony FX6. I didn't want to put a lot of money towards renting equipment or a bigger camera package. Uh, I just know that Sony FX6 like the back of my hand. So exposing for it, uh, just all the buttons, knowing how to use it properly, it wasn't gonna be an issue for me that day given that I wasn't gonna have a first AC. But I did decide to put money towards a lens and I found out that Expressway Cinema Rentals, shot to them, they have this one of a kind Canon range finder F0.95 Dream Lens by Canon. It's one of the most beautiful lenses I've ever used. The other lens that I used for the wide shots was the Photographer 7s. He had a 12 to 24 millimeter F2.8 G Master by Sony. So if you're working on small projects, I think that's something very important to consider is like, do you want to put more of your money towards renting a bigger camera package like an RE or a RED or even a bigger Sony? Or do you want to spend more of that money towards the overall creative vision, which is like, do you need a stylus? Do you need to buy more props? Do you need to rent a certain location? Do you need to get horses? Think about where can your money go the furthest to really bring your vision to life and not just focus on the cameras and the lenses. And if you can afford a little bit, go with some nice lenses. Like I mentioned earlier, I had 24 hours to deliver this final project from shooting on a Thursday morning to delivering on a Friday morning with revisions included in the edit. So I had a very tight window to deliver this final project. So I knew immediately in my pre-production, I needed to be able to tell a very interesting story in a very simple manner. And one of the easiest ways to do that is breaking down the story in a linear format. So when we start with scene one, uh, I thought about it right away when I visited the stables, uh, when I did my pre-production, my scouting. If I had him come out one of these rooms, as you can see the blue on the wall, it would give me a little bit of interest in the frame. I would have some color contrast. And when he would walk out, it would just look like a really hard, uh, uh, interesting image if he has a saddle on his back with a cowboy hat. So that immediately, uh, it just sparked the rest of the story. I knew I could go from A to B. Uh, pretty simply if I just started with something that simple and that allows me to move on to the other scenes Which is he just walks towards where he ties up the horse every single day as a cowboy That's where they brush the horse That's where they wash the horse. That's where they're putting the saddle on the horse So that's now like the middle part of the story where he's now with his best friend his horse He brings them down from the stable and he's getting them ready for their daily ride so everything in this first scene, which includes him coming out of the stable, as you can see right here, I just added an extra frame where it's just, you see the back of the saddle and it just looks like a really great frame because of the lighting since he's backlit, but I'm, I'm filming from the front. 
and then just to add a little bit extra uh, I just wanted a wider frame of that same scene him leading up to where they tie up the horses to add a little bit of extra hit to this to the edit I knew if he were just to place the saddle down really hard I would be able to add some sound effects and that would be like a nice way to transition my frame um, and my point of view to now face him forward think about that when you're doing your pre-production like how can you change the camera movement with edits in mind so i knew if he brings that saddle down really hard with some sound effects under it boom i could just change the camera um angle and it wouldn't feel so jarring or so uninteresting and now we are able to cut to the fact that he has this um saddle and he's brushing it so it, it really just created a more dynamic way of just literally just flipping the camera angle and again i did my pre-production i scouted i knew where the sun was going to be so if i f placed them right there i was going to have this beautiful cut of light obviously if clouds appeared that day i would be in a lot of trouble and this look would not look interesting at all but the sun looked out for me so you have like this nice cut right behind them but part of the sun still hits his cowboy hat and is giving a little bit of an edge and also on the saddle so it, the sun really just showed out that day uh, shout out to the clouds being my key grip and then we transition to where he's just bringing his horse down to where he's going to tie him up and put the saddle on him and i just found a really nice way to frame uh the stables where i'm using the leading line of the corner just shooting to the corner and i was also able to just place them a little bit so you can see the other horse in the background so it just gave it a little bit of extra emphasis and um interest on just the fact that we're at a stable there's other horses it's not just like some one-off random video that we're making like this is a real place in a real environment and and even like having the the chickens framed all the way at the bottom just like moving away when the horse walks through it just adds a little bit more extra interest so scene two we actually introduced the air jordan one palominos again this is not a cowboy commercial it's not a stable farm commercial this is an air jordan commercial so we knew instinctively we could let the viewers understand that you know he's gonna take he's gonna prep his horse he's gonna put the saddle on and as a cowboy he's gonna put cowboy boots on but before he does that as you can see in this raw clip me and seven the photographer we instinctively came up with on the spot how to introduce the sneaker box a little bit more creatively than we had previously planned so i'll let that raw clip play under the cowboy boots the sneakers would be there or the box of the sneakers would be there yeah either or we could put them on top of the box and then he sees the box yeah opens it up yeah grab the sneakers like oh shit. yeah put these on. that's yeah. perfect you're yeah. thinking on the spot. So again, he grabs this box that has his cowboy boots. He grabs his cowboy boots and it reveals that there's a brand new Air Jordan box right there that he hadn't seen before. So he opens it up, he grabs Air Jordan 1 Palominos and he has the biggest smile on his face. He's a kid. I think it just played a little bit to that factor of, of just excitement. The fact that he has these fresh pair of Jordans that now he's gonna be able to use to ride his horse instead of the cowie boots. So I thought it was just like a nice play on that. The location we used, quite simply, it was just a storage room that they store all their saddles as cowboys and they have rope and they have other accessories they use to either take care of or ride the horse. So the light, all we had was just simply a top LED light at the top of the storage room that just really just created a soft lighting. It's in our best favor, just how the lighting was set up in that room. It's nothing that we planned for that we we could have done more to do. I just opened up the door for the storage room to let ambient light in from the outside. And then we cut to this other angle where he actually grabs the Air Jordans and you can see I place him to the side of the room where you can see the saddles just hanging behind him. I just thought it looked like a really dope frame. And with the light of the door coming in from the outside, it just was able to wrap completely on the Air Jordans. So, and so the Air Jordans, again, the emphasis, I needed to, them to be lit. They can't look dark. They can't look dirty and, and, and just like just some random sneakers that they grabbed from some box. Like they have to look like fresh pair of Jordans. And, and so the lighting has to be really important when you reveal the sneakers. What's the first thing you do after you get a fresh pair of Air Jordans? Well, you want to put them on and you want to lace them up. So we went outside and I didn't want to backlight the sneakers completely of him tying them up because I still wanted to see a little bit of detail on the other side of the sneaker where the camera would be facing. So I just had it a little bit more frontal. Um, so you can still get a little bit of that backlight look, but still get some light wrapping on the other side of the sneakers. And definitely one of the lights have just hit perfectly on that Nike Air logo um, right there where he has, um, where he's tying them up. And then the last scene, the end of the video is him riding his horse with the Air Jordan 1 Palominos instead of using cowboy boots. So this is a really unique way to just show off uh, the sneakers 
um, being used in a completely different manner that you would ever think of using Air Jordans. But given the fact of the name Palomino, I thought it was just a great way to introduce um, and, and just highlight that name and, and, and just think more creatively outside of the box and, and just push the boundaries as much as I can creatively. Hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. It was short and sweet uh, because it is a short commercial and Again, there was not much that I can't break down because it was a small team. It was basically just me and, and the photographer. And that's another thing. If you haven't worked on campaigns alongside a photographer, I encourage you to try to get on sets where you can learn that as a skill set as well because it's not just only you as a DP framing your light and framing your shots. You also have to think about time allotment and, and how it's going to work for the photographer who might be on the campaign as well because some of these campaigns are also photo and video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button on this video, and if you have any comments or questions about how I came up with this, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll see everyone in the next one. Peace.